Hey everybody, welcome to the happy hour with Heather B. I am Heather B and I'm at my favorite wine and spirit spot in the whole wide world, Diplomat Wine and Spirits. Any drink you see me making, you can get the supplies right here at Diplomat Wine and Spirit. Now today, I just felt like doing something crazy. I love shoes, what woman doesn't? And I was looking at my Christian Louboutin shoes and I was like, wow, everyone's going crazy over the red bottom, red bottom shoes, red bottom. Sounds like a good idea for a drink. And I'm going to make that for you today, and I'll show you how. First, you're going to get a nice little mason jar. Um, they sell these for about 59 cents in any arts and crafts store. You can get one, and just keep it as your red bottom drink jar. You could do that, right? Take it. Fill it up with ice. All right. Keep digging, keep digging, and get it nice and filled up with ice. All right. Get your shaker. Same thing. Not all the way though with your shaker. You're gonna just take that and fill it up two thirds of the way with ice for that. All right. And today I'm gonna to use Zert. It's a good vodka. It actually scored 100 points for the tasting, so I decided to check it out, and I love it. I could actually just do straight shots of this. Pretty strong, but that's when I have a rough day. Give yourself about a five count. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And what I wanted to do, since pink grapefruit was in season, red grapefruit if you will, just take it and squeeze some fresh grapefruit right inside your shaker. Just squeeze it right in there. Now I normally don't like grapefruit, but I like the pink grapefruit and I like the red grapefruit. To me I find it's a little bit sweeter. Take it, squeeze it, and this is two whole grapefruits by the way. Just squeeze it right in there, just get all that fresh juice. It's a little bit of a mess, but it's worth it, I promise you. Get one more, squeeze it. Oh wow, it's coming out so pretty. Get another quarter, squeeze it right in. Good, and then cut you a little slice and I'll show you why later. Actually, cut two slices. One for later and one for right now. Anytime that I'm using fresh fruit, I love to take the fresh fruit and infuse it right inside with the alcohol and its juices. You're going to take it, give it a shake. Let it settle a bit to avoid the mess. Nice. And pour it right inside. Look at that color nice and pretty and you're just gonna fill this up and you actually can see some of the pulp from the grapefruit right inside your drink all right now you know my rule if you have room in the glass you have room for more alcohol so I'm going to go to the trusty St. Germain. It's an elderflower liqueur yeah, and it sort of tastes like pear and grapefruit and passion fruit. Uh, you can put that right on top of here. Okay. And of course a red bottom would not be a red bottom without a red bottom. You're going to get a nice long spoon or any spoon that you have in your house and get your grenadine and take the back of the spoon and just pour the grenadine right on top of it nice and slow and just watch it float right to the bottom look how pretty that is oh my gosh and just think about it the grapefruit the grenadine the vodka look how pretty that is all right now i said we'll save a piece of grapefruit for later you're going to top that off right there and I don't have a straw, but look how gorgeous this is, and I'm going to have a sip anyway. Mmm. This is so good. Try this at home and let me know what you think. It's the happyhourwithheatherbee.com.